river this high. Yeah, that over there, that's the river. And of course, I hit a light while I'm filming, but hey. About eight to ten feet underneath that is the bike trail I take to MSB. Unreal. Yeah, they say Minnesota is the land of ten thousand lakes. That's really an under exaggeration. Apparently, there's over fourteen thousand contiguous bodies of water over 10 acres in size. <laughs> Maybe I should be out here with an amphicar. But anyway, if it rains anymore, there's only going to be just one. Okay. For the moment of truth, I cleaned up the main ground. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, there it is. I don't know how you can see that. I can barely see it. But there's the electrical connection for the starter. In theory, just got to loosen that up and clean it up and tighten it up and... Oh, yeah. That doesn't seem sketchy at all. Okay, here we are. Trying to fix this enduring ignition problem with Hair Cougar. Pull the negative battery terminal. We're going to try and clean up the uh, connection to the starter again. Capturing this. Right now, we're doing everything that makes me cringe about using my phone for filming. Okay. There's the starter. Up there is the connector. Lord willing, we're going to loosen that one up. Wait a second, where are we at here? Yes, okay, yeah, that's the starter. And there's a connector up there, and we're gonna loosen that up. I think it's 3 8 And then we're gonna move that around, clean up the connection, and hopefully we're gonna, the connection's gonna work again. I'm not gonna film anymore, this is ridiculous, I don't care. Okay, normally I tell you guys the bolt size, but it's so rusty I can't read it. Okay, put on this left terminal, which for some reason is fighting me, and we'll give the ignition a try. Okay, I'm too filthy to sit in the car. Now, let's see what we got. Nothing. Nothing. Why am I not surprised? I don't know if this will make it into any episode or not, but the skies to the west are getting increasingly snarky. Normally, increasingly snarky skies would just be increasingly snarky skies, but this is the Midwest.
if everything worked properly, I caught how we start hair cougar now. It's been on fire twice since I've started doing that. Seriously. Okay, so we've got a new blocking cylinder because I think that's what the problem is. Now Ford, this is amazing. Just put a little tiny pin in, in there and this thing pops right out. Put a pin back in, put it right in. I'm actually uh, holding the needle with needle nose pliers. Unfortunately, I can't film this because I need two hands. We'll see you on the other side. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. I actually hit Brat Worst with Hair Cougar. <laughs> Reminds me of the time, well, the story, when there were only three cars on the planet and two of them wrecked into each other. For real, check it in the Guinness Book. Okay, here's my second try at uh, uh, fixing the ignition cylinder. I always detach the uh, negative battery terminal. Okay, so all one needs here is something to push in this, uh, this small hole here. I was using a small Allen wrench before, now I'm using a cotter pin. And this thing pops out, like, not much, like a like, quarter, half inch and then you can just wiggle it out, provided it's in the run position. Then you make the other one uh, in the same position, but you've got to depress this pin here, or this, this thing here. I had it depressed before, but then it got hop happy again. And then the key, when it turns around, will knock, there's a bump in here that'll knock that back out again, and it seats. I mean, that's all there is to it. Ford hit one out of the park. I mean, seriously. Okay. Uh, yeah. Before fixing the starter, replacing the starter, disconnect the negative battery terminal, otherwise you could arc it across the new windings and destroy it. Uh, yeah, that's a nice setup. Got the rhino ramp turned around, got the ramp up, got the jack stands. Should give me plenty of warning before I get crushed. Um, yeah, where was it going? I forget. Anyway, they have to battle. Okay, famous last words. It shouldn't be too bad. There's just two major bolts here. Yeah. Yeah, this one screws right into this. This one has a... Uh, yeah, okay. And uh, then there's a ground here. And possibly... Actually, this might be the ground here. But anyway... It's only like four connections, really. Uh, yeah, famous last words. Uh, I don't know how much I'll be able to film under here. It's, yeah, we'll see. Okay. Okay, the fun begins already. Yeah, there's just that connection there. It gets its ground from the block. There's this bolt here. Of course, they put both fuel lines in the way. No idea why. And there's really no way to get to that bolt up there, so I'm hoping that's just one that just... There's really no way to get to that bolt up there, so I'm hoping that one just slides on there. There's no threads on it, so that might actually be the case. Okay, time to start getting into this. I can't film it because I need two hands. Okay, I'm in hell found the half inch bolt had to search for it well why well because it was used to clear tighten up the battery terminal tried to turn this thing on there got it on solidly wouldn't budge use the jack handle as a persuader and all it did was strip the bolt that thing ain't moving for nothing i can't fix this i'm in hell uh <sighs> Maybe I'll change the oil under here, but... Yeah, I guess this is the end of this episode. Keep between the ditches, everyone. Hope you never have anything like this. Okay. I'm really not in the mood to film, but... Any chance to finally capture this, uh... Working of this thing in action will take. Uh, so... Looks like we don't need that. So you get it on there. 
these teeth grab and it turns that easy. <laughs> okay, so we're still on this way of starting it. Trouble with that was it was slowly burning away because it's like primitive arc welding. So I just turned it around so we can burn more on the other side. Uh, yeah, I just or uh, I recorded like 10 minutes of nothing in my pocket because it's that kind of day. Of course, we'll edit that out. Uh, I'm going to try and capture the last, uh, this next start here because it might be Hare Cougar's last. <laughs> Looks like Hare Cougar survived another oil change. One of the reasons I put off the oil change was I wanted to get the new starter on so I could crank it without the the, uh, da -da 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 -da, the ignition so I could build some oil pressure. But that, ironically enough, wasn't bad at all. Okay, this is really going to do it for this episode. Keep your ditches, everyone.